Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. I'm actually having an algae version of um, twisted fruits. That's what I think it's fun of fruit twist, isn't it? Um, so grab yourselves a nice drink, whatever you're having. It's quite hot weather today, so regardless of what I'm showing you, which is very autumnal. But today's video is a huge craft stash ready for all my crafts coming up in the autumn and the winter. I'll probably have to get a few more bits for winter um, because I've got a lot of Christmassy sort of ideas. But I know everyone's sort of like that loves watching crafts. You might want to watch this video because obviously these are all going to be the things that I'm going to be making. So if you want to follow along, then you can. And they're obviously in the shops right now. And then I know some people might think, oh, it's still summer, but obviously we'll make these in advance ready so that you can have them up in September when it is autumn. Um, so yeah, I went to Home Bargains, not Home Bargains, I went to Hobbycraft, shall I say. Hobbycraft, I went to my little local garden centre and then I got a few little bits off Amazon as well, um, just because I just couldn't get them anywhere else. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get my big craft stash now and bring it over because it's currently on the table in a massive box that I got. Um, <laughs> Let's see if I can get this open. Are you ready kids? Aye aye, Captain! Um, right, let's put this in. So I'm going to start off with the hobby craft bag first, and we shall get in. So these bits are hobby craft, they are Amazon, so I'll show you them in a minute. So I've got ideas to make homemade gifts this year for Christmas, um, and I had some really good offers on, so I just bought the bits in hobby craft now while they're on offer, because they will go up again in price when it gets near the time. Um, and then there's just a few bits that I needed. So there is a few Christmassy bits in here, but obviously I know it's early, but sometimes if they're there on offer, you might as well get them when you can. Um, so let's start off with this empty bag. We can show you what we've got. I thought I need to hiccup, I've so much of that fantastic stuff. Oh. Right, that's enough. So the first things I got was some Melt and Pour soap base. I'll get my receipt out actually because, where is my receipt? I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll link the bits below so then you can see the prices. I think this was um, £9, gone down to £4.50. A lot of it was half price. Uh, but yes, it was half price. I know that as well because the decoupage was the same price. Um, so £4.50, so this is the crystal white melt and pour crystal soap base, so you can actually melt this in the microwave, um, so it's a soap base, you get, it? this is one kilogram of it, um, so you remove one lid, you can melt these, cut it down, um, just remove the lid and melt, um, so these are made in the UK, you can get a clear version, there's more of a creamy version as well, I got this one because the white one was on offer, so what I'm going to be doing is making some little individual soaps, um, as Christmas presents, but what I'm also going to be doing is I've got a little wax silicon um, mold coming that's got like pumpkins on it, and they're like little tiny kind of ones. That's already coming in the post, but that's coming from somewhere because I got it really cheap online, so it's going to take a little while to come. But I'm going to make pumpkin spice um, scented little hand soaps, so I'm going to wrap them up as little favours when I do like a little autumn craft day with my friends. So they're all gonna come round, have some like hot chocolates, some like cakes and stuff like that and do a few autumn crafts together, which I think would be quite nice this year. Um, but I'll give them little soaps to make, like um, so they can take away. But for the Christmas ones, for 79p, I got this free pack of embossing soap moulds. So these are some really nice soap moulds and they've got like the larger edge around the edge here and like the bubble bit, the embossed bit, which is nice and smart. And I'm just gonna add some like dried sort of like floral bits to this, maybe some orange segment bits, just really make some really nice soaps for Christmas and add some essential oils. Yet again, my essential oils are coming, they've come from online and um, so they've not come yet. 79p and £4.50. And really had to make quite a few gifts out of those. I also got myself, while it was on offer, the Hobbycraft version of the decoupage. Um, so decoupage like glue. So this is the decoupage medium. It's all in one glue, sealer and finish. And I got this in a matte look because I do have the shiny one, obviously the decoupage version. Um, and this is the 450 mils. This was um, £9, gone down to £4.50 as well. Um, so I remember them two being the same price. So really good value. Considering their smaller pot is like £4.50, you may as well get the larger pot while it's on offer. So I got those. I also got some ribbons, so two of them are for Christmas and one of them is for autumn, and these are the velvet ribbons. Now these are the cheapest place I found them. So these are, you get fifth, you get five meters each of these on a spoolie. These are three, three pound 30 each, but they had three for, six, 
yeah, it was eight pound, I think it was. So you save like one pound sixty, three for eight pound in there. And I got this really lovely forest green. Now this is going to be lovely. I'm going to be making some like handmade baubles, so I thought this would be quite nice on that. But also for wrapping presents as well, because I just use brown craft paper and use nice ribbons. And then obviously people can keep them after if they want. A lot of people that I wrap their presents, they do tend to keep their ribbons, or they say, "Oh, do you want to take that ribbon home?" Do you know, rather than it being thrown, recycle, waste not, want not. This beautiful red as well. They had like a brighter red, but I got this sort of burgundy wine one. I do just want to say, I've lost three gel nails, by the way, in case you're thinking, what's wrong with her nails? I've been doing a lot of crafting and DIY and painting it indoors. I painted all the panelling, re it, made a shelf in the bathroom, painted all the hallway, and I've lost three gels in the process, which I will go and get done today, sorted. Um, but just in case, <laughs> what's wrong with her nails? Um, so then I also got this really lovely, like, burnt rust orange which is just beautiful and um, so i'm going to be making myself an autumn wreath and i just thought that that little ribbon on it would look beautiful as well i'm going to maybe tie this around some of my pumpkins as well just to add in the sort of orange tones i've got a lot of whites and sages so i've got that as well and then i also got this lovely little metal decoration pumpkin now this was black um this is black they had this in gold as well, but I got this one, the black one, but the gold one was really large um, and it was kind of 3D, like I said, it bent out at the front as well, which was really cute, which was $3.99. Um, this one was $2.99 and I just thought this was really lovely. One as is, but I'm actually going to spray this gold. I'm going to take the little tag of it. I'm going to spray this gold and then I'm just going to add some little bits to it. I'm thinking of adding like some little wooden beads. I might even cut the metal and put the beads, thread the beads onto this or tie some nice ribbon round it, spray it gold. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with that, but I thought it was so cute. I love the little silhouette of it being the pumpkin. Um, I also thought on the front of a canvas that might look quite pretty, but I'm not sure what to do with that. But I got that and I thought that was really, really sweet. Um, I also got this, I think this was four pound, but like I said, I will link it all below um, so you can see. Um, but I got this really lovely MDF wooden pumpkin tray. Now this is really cute because you can obviously have it that way and paint it if you want to and put whatever you want on it. But I love that it's actually a tray so you could have this down, have potpourri in this, you could obviously have like little sweets that are in wrappers and stuff like that in this that would look really cute. I'm actually gonna paint this, but what I got to go with this, so I'm obsessed with having initials on stuff. So they do the wooden MDF letters in there, which are really, really reasonably cheap in there. And I measured it out, so Hen H for Henshaw. I'm gonna glue this initially once I've painted it. And I thought this would look really nice for autumn and sort of Halloween time near our front door. Um, so like an emblem of like sort of Halloween, <laughs> Henshaw, um, and it's got the pumpkin on it. And I just thought that would look really pretty. I might even tie a little bit of ribbon around the top of that little pumpkin stick. Um, but I thought that was really, really nice. And I'm just gonna paint that, decorate that. I don't know what I'm gonna do to it yet. I might customize some like really spooky bits of it. I might even literally put that in and add pom-poms all around like tightly in this bit here. I'm not sure what to do with that. But like I say, I've got all my little craft supplies ready because um, I've had a lot of crafts coming. I also got myself a dry floral foam brick. While well, I was there with my sister, she was getting some craft supplies as well. And I was in there and she was like, remember the floral flum? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. I'd done a video probably a couple of years ago now and I was like, yeah, so you've got to get your dry floral flum. <laughs> and I couldn't get the foam bit out, it kept being a fluff. Um, so if you've been here a long while, you might remember that. So I've got this one because obviously I'm not going to be using it with real flowers. I'm going to be doing a dry floral selection. I've got myself some tracing paper. Now this is ideal if you're doing crafts and you can't really draw pumpkins and stuff. Get some tracing paper. I've got some really clever ideas for that. I think that's only a pound. For two pound, I've got these. So these are the little crochet rings, like the little embroidery rings, embroidery hoops. Um, that you can use. Now, these are really cute. Now, these are two pound each, a little bit of a Pat Butcher vibe. Um, go do what you want. I'm not keen on the ribbon. I think it's a bit of a garish red. And I think I'm gonna add probably one of my like, these kind of ribbons to it. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna be doing a little bit of embroidery. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I've got five of these. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna do a mummy and daddy one for the Christmas tree. I'm gonna actually have these as a craft inspired, Christmas decoration. So I'm going to have this one. So this one's going to be mummy and daddy. And then I'm going to have all the kids initials in these ones and tie some really beautiful ribbon around them. But I'm going to stain these probably as well, slightly darker, just because I, like, I don't really like the beach coloured wood. I prefer it to be a little bit darker, maybe like this sort of tone, you know, slightly darker. What is that? Oh, it's orange slices. And um, so these are £2 each. I thought they were really good as well. 
Then I got on myself onto Amazon. I'm like, no, I've got these from Hobby Craft as well. Sorry, I'm losing myself. I got myself some orange slices, just some extra ones that I needed because I am going to be doing another Christmas wreath workshop again this year. But rather than buying it all near Christmas, obviously I'm getting all the supplies from the florist as well. So it just makes it cheaper by getting a few of the bits in advance that you can get. So I've got some orange slices. And how many did you get of these? It is 300 grams. Um, so yeah, I thought they were really good for my wreaths. I also popped in the works. I want to let you know, this is only £1.50. They've got really nice stencils in there. Now, if you don't have a Cricut machine, because obviously I do a lot of my things on my Cricut, if you don't have a Cricut machine, for £1.50, you can stencil, make your own signs and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, Hello Autumn. They've got a little pumpkin on there. They've got maple leaves, gourds on there, mushrooms. You know, really nice things on there. So I just thought I would show you that for £1.50. They do have a few different designs in there as well. And as always, they've got some really lovely little craft sets in there as well. I do love the works. Now from Amazon. So, oh, before we go on Amazon, I will show you these bits I got from Hobbycraft as well. So, I invested, while it was on offer, I invested it for myself. Now, I really love when you see like, you know when you go to like a wedding or a party or an event, you see like a big sign on an easel and it's like, welcome to our wedding kind of thing. It looks really beautiful. Now, I wanted to do that really cheaply, kind of make an easel, but my wood skills are limited. And when I worked out how much it'd be to get the wood, actually it worked out cheaper to get one reduced in the sale from Hobby Craft or online somewhere. So I've got myself an easel. Um, so this was £17, I've gone down to 15 I paid 15 for this in Hobbycraft, and it's a white easel, I don't know if you can see the picture of it, it's just a nice white, fine easel, it's got all like the gold chain and stuff on it and the gold screws, it's really nice, I did get the wood out, and you can see it's kind of like bevelled, it's really nice, it's got like this nice sort of like classy bevelled look, it looks like moulding, like crown moulding that you'd have on a wall, um, so it's really nice and it's this lovely fine stand. Now, I don't need nothing sort of like really industrial or large because this was just going to be for me. So I like to do little craft parties with my friends or little Halloween parties and stuff like that. And what I wanted to do is have an easel and then have like a frame on there. Now I was looking at vintage frames I'd get from second hand shops and stuff like that for a pound. But then I thought about it, the glass on the inside could shatter if it got knocked over or pushed with the kids, especially at a party. Um, so I've got some acrylics. I've got an acrylic sheet. Now this obviously isn't cloudy. It's just because it's got that sealing bit on it. Um, so you can peel this off and then it's completely clear. This would be a clear sheet. This is a clear sheet of acrylic. Now you can get these in different sizes. I opted for this size. Now I know I'm not going to be able to probably get a frame, a frame, a frame, a frame this size. So with some moulding, I've already got down the shed. I'm just going to glue and make my own frame around this to make it look like a vintage sort of frame. And then with my Cricut machine, obviously you could use a stencil. I'm just gonna use the peelable, um, removable vinyl, so for different occasions. So I'll have my easel standing up my picture. So like when my friends do come around and we do the Christmas wreaths, I'll do like, you know, some nice Christmas writing on there. You know, come here, if people come around and it's like a party in the garden, like when we had the coronation party, this would've been really cute. So just like something really cute, it's like a prop really, to stand with, but I thought it'd be really nice. And obviously I've got this in forever. If any of my family or friends need it for parties, they can use this as well. So I've got that as well. Um, and I thought that's just gonna look really, really cute. Um, yeah, then we're gonna get onto Amazon. So I am gonna be doing a video on this as well. I am gonna be doing lots of homemade gifts this year. So me and all the grown-ups in the family, we've all said that like, obviously we don't really do presents for each other no more, we just do the kids. But we are gonna be doing some homemade gifts, which I think is a really nice idea. So it's a little thoughtful gift that you can give, and it's fun to make as well. Um, so I'm gonna ask my sister if she wants to get involved in making some gifts with me this year. Um, so I did go on to Amazon. Now, I did wanna make some hot chocolate stirrers for the kids. I broke the box a bit when I tried to open it. Um, so, I normally use the girl called, um, like the company called Chunky Dunk Chocks, so Tiffany, she runs that, and that was really lovely. I'd always get the hot chocolate stirrers for like Valentine's, Christmas, Halloween, and she stopped doing it. And obviously it was nice to support her small business, but she's actually shut down now. Um, and I was absolutely gutted. I was like, oh no, what am I going to do now? Because the kids love her little stirrers. So I I'm going to make my own, and then I'm also going to make some in like packages of like little soaps, and like homemade little cleaning products and stuff, just little homemade gifts for family members as well. So I've got this set of Amazon, I will link this below. Um, so you get 24 wooden spoons with this and you also get the hot chocolate mold. 
I think I paid £10 for this. And now, the mould on its own on there is £8.99. And then the spoons that you get on there are like £2.99. So it still works out cheaper to get the set than it does to buy it separately on there. And I scrolled and scrolled because I didn't even want to spend a lot of money on this at all. And um, so you get 24 spoons and it's this little cafetiere set that you get. And you get these little square moulds and they're perfect. When they did come, I thought you probably could use an ice cube tray for this, but then I think they'd be probably too small. And then the big square one that I got from Home Bargains or the big cubes, they'd be too big to fit in a mug. And um, so obviously you pour your chocolate in, get some nice cheap chocolate, pour your chocolate in, you can put your spoon in, you can add marshmallows. I did actually get, I'll show you, I've got some pumpkin marshmallows. I ended up buying a big bag, bulk bag, but I'll make some little Halloween ones. Yes, yeah, got that little set. Um, now as well, this is a Christmas thing, so please bear with me. Um, so I did do that. I do the kids every year a Christmas Eve bag. So basically, it's a bag. It's a dupe one that I got. I think I paid one nine for it in the range. I've got a few of them, and I pop PJs, socks, little hot chocolates. You know, like a little book, something to read little snacks in there, just a nice little gift for Christmas Eve, just to sort of, they can have a bath, get comfortable in their new Christmas PJs to wake up in, they can stay in their PJs all day if they want. Um, so always do that. Now, I've changed my ideas to use the bags into using hampers instead. I'd done this last year, it was really good, but I needed something for it that I couldn't get in time, so I've ordered these um, instead for this year. So I've been using my Faulkner Mason hamper. So I've got a lot of Faulkner Mason hamper baskets that I've collected for ages, um, just everywhere scattered around the house. And we really like tied up Albert's toys. So I've got all these hampers that I don't use. And I said to Gary, it feels like such a shame to get rid of them because I love them. What can I do with them instead? And he was like, well, why don't you use them at Christmas? You always put them underneath the Christmas tree. And I was like, well, I will. But what I will do instead is I will actually use them to put their Christmas Eve stuff in. So there's different Fort and Mason ones. There's a few different sizes, roughly all very similar. But I have got four of them to go under the tree. So I'm going to use one for each of the children to put their PJs in their Christmas Eve stuff. But to label them up so they don't open the wrong one, I thought this would be a really good idea. Um, so... I got these luggage tags off Amazon. Now you get a pack of four for a tenner. Now when I looked on Etsy for red leather tags, so I really wanted to look classy, very like traditional Christmas. Um, they were like that each, and that was quite expensive. I thought, I can't pay 40 pounds, I can't justify that, especially when I've already got the baskets. I really feel like I'm done really well by just having something for free. Um, so I got these, so there's two one shape and then two the other shape. Now they do have the section where you have the name in it, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece of card out and I'm going to put a print of like a Christmas print or a card in there. I've got so many Christmas tags that I probably could shove in there instead um, to open it and then maybe just put their initial on the inside. But what I am going to do is they come with these lovely little leather straps. And what I liked about these ones were you can get some on there for about 3 99 but they've got like the black bit on the tag. I love that they've got like the gold buckle on it. It goes really nice with the red. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print out with my Cricut machine. You could do this with a stencil if you wanted to, with like a, a, a hard-wearing um, paint. I'm just going to put their initials or the name on this in like maybe squiggly, like, and then hang this off of the basket. I just think with the wicker, like I mean, what have I got this wicker in here? Like wicker and the red, I think it's just going to look really classy together. And obviously it's more of a deeper orangey wicker. I just think it's going to look really nice to make their like traditional Christmas trunks for them so I've got those to put away I need to do them though get my cricket machine out and do that and then I also got some more of these now I said I would share these when they go on offer so I've done my Christmas Eve scene I've done for the last few years now on my back of my picture rail in my dining room now what I've done is I added a garland and I added some like um, dried orange slices and these gold cowbells that I got now when I see these on the websites online they're really expensive and I got them really cheaply off Amazon not last year, the year before. Um, and I did share them in an autumn haul, but obviously everyone that watches autumn, like, you know, vice versa, they might like Christmas, but not autumn. Um, so they, they might not have seen them. And then they went ridiculously up in price. So I'm sharing these while they are really, really cheap, guys. They have the larger versions as well. So these are the gold, let me get some scissors. These are the gold cowbells. So you get a pack of... I don't even know how much is in there actually. I can't remember. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, 20. I must get 20 in a pack. 
Now I know that I paid seven pounds for these and you get 20 in a pack, but these are like 20 pounds for free on like a bit of jute rope from places like Hudson Home and stuff like that. Now I've got the larger packet as well. They're like a bit larger. I've put them away in storage. Sorry, I do apologize, I forgot about it. Um, Cause I ordered them like last month, but it's still available. I'll link them all below in the description. So they're like these little vintage cowbells. You've got like the little triangly ones here. You get 10 of the triangly ones and 10 of the traditional ones. Now with some lovely ribbon, can you imagine these being hung up off of a garland at Christmas? They're just gonna look beautiful. Or you could hang these actually on your Christmas tree. They're just gonna look beautiful. Um, and they're like really vintage looking, really, really nice. And you can like gather these up and make like chunks of them to make a garland, add it in a wreath. They're just gonna look so pretty. So I will link them below. Um, but they are the best ones. So when I go on Amazon, I scroll and scroll and scroll to make sure that they're the cheapest ones. So I will add the link. But if they do go really expensive, because everything I link on Amazon, so many of you guys go on there to order it, that the cheeky sellers, I think once they know that it's an item that everyone wants, they put their prices up. If the prices go up dramatically from what I'm telling you they are, please feel free to go in there and just type in vintage cowbells and just scroll yourself and just have a double check because obviously I don't want you spending more if you don't have to. And then while I was on there as well, for four pound, I got some of this um, velvet ribbon as well. So this is gonna be for my presents under the tree in the dining room. So I'm gonna wrap up some boxes Yep, I'm doing that to make like some faux presents and I'm gonna wrap them in like hessian. I'm gonna make like decorations for under the tree because I don't wanna buy them. I'm gonna put some lights around them and I'm also gonna wrap them in ribbon, but I got this really lovely vintagey looking sort of rough green velvet ribbon, which is like frayed, which is so, so nice. And you get quite a few bundles of these. You get three of them and they are three rolls, one yard each and they're in army green. Um, so I'm gonna wrap the presents in them and have nice big bows on them. And then have a few bells hanging from them on the presents, make my own decorations. Um, so I just thought that'd be really nice. So I was having a look at them presents that you could light up, the light up decorations. And they were so expensive. And I thought, no, Rosie, you are a crafter at heart. You can make them yourself. Um, so I've got those as well. I'll probably fiddle about with that later. So I've got those too. So this is my little craft haul. It's definitely not a little craft haul, but this is my supplies for the rest of the year. Um, so I'm gonna get in and make loads, of, but obviously I've got homemade gifts to make here. <laughs> With the stencil as well, I've got lots of off-cut of wood that I use for the shelf that I made in my bathroom. And I said to the guy while I was in there, I was in being cute and he cut it down to size. I was like, with that leftover piece that you've got there, could you just cut it into like a few little bits? So I've got little blocks of wood and I'm gonna put my friend's names on them, paint them in like a sage green or an orange and put these little pumpkin prints on them to make like little tear tray stop signs for their things. So I thought, do you know what, yet again, soup, lots of nice bits for presents as well. And then lastly, I got, this is from my autumn display. I got this really cute like flower crate from my local garden center. It's got like bulbs and flowers written on it. I really wish I'd got another. Millie said to me, mum, that's really reasonable for that. You should have got another one. And I was like, yeah, but I was with daddy. <laughs> so when daddy's there, I know to rein myself in with a shopping addiction. And um, so this is only five pounds, my local garden centre, which I thought was really amazing. And obviously I'm gonna use that in the spring and the summer to sort of display flowers in the garden. But what I'm gonna do with that for autumn is in my porch, I'm gonna literally put that and I'm gonna stack pumpkins in it and like glue some like little leaves and put some lights in it to make like a little display. Um, so yeah, that's been my video guys. I hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Anything that I can link, I will link below. I think it'd be fine to link everything because it's Hobbycraft and Amazon. So yeah, they'll be there. Um, and I'll try and link these as well if I can from the works. Probably be better to go in there and get these though because obviously you don't have to pay for delivery because um, they're really cheap. But I will link them regardless anyway for you guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Bye.